Hey guys, it was two days ago that Bonnie, Emma, and I were on top of Bear Point uh, asking each other questions about raising the baby off grid. This is what we have now. It is September 25th, about 1 or 2 p.m. I don't even know. You lose track of time out here. It's crazy. Uh, it's about 35 degrees outside, 35 Fahrenheit. So it's not below freezing, but we definitely have the storm system blowing over. So I have to make a crucial decision here. Zach and Alyssa are still in town, shopping for supplies, getting their last minute things done. The spring line has frozen the last three mornings. So I need to decide if I'm going to winterize the spring line before Zach and Alyssa get home. It's a task that I've done before by myself. It's a lot nicer to do with Zach, but if it freezes solid and it doesn't thaw, it is a pain in the butt to winterize after that. You getting ready to go outside? It's a, win a winter wonderland, huh? Okay, here's the thing. This wasn't gonna be a snow vlog, but it's getting real in the field here. Uh, almost three inches. Check this path out right here. The, uh, the alder is just laying over with all this wet, heavy snow. That alder stands about that high. The snow has just knocked it all down. So, yeah, I gotta go get snow shovels so we can clean off our porch, clean off the outhouse step. Bonnie and I were planning on doing some laundry today. I think we'll go through with that plan. It's just gonna take more work now. You never know what the weather's gonna do out here. It can really catch you with your pants down. Thankfully, I have my pants on right now. I fear that this winter, we might get a lot of snow before it freezes up. And that can be kind of a terrible thing because you want the, the lakes, the creeks, the ponds, all of those things to freeze over before you get a lot of snow. Otherwise, it's terrible trying to cross them. I'm gonna get this phone and the mic out of the snow and uh, get some of this stuff cleared off. This is where we keep the snow shovels later. Okay, it's the day after. I'm just gonna show you guys around a little bit. Unexpected weather. So we officially got three and a half inches of snow. I'm very happy I woke up to this sound. The spring line did not freeze last night. And my theory is the three and a half inches of snow covering the, the, uh, the water line in the meadow area, that's where it tends to freeze because the cold settles, you know. So the three and a half inches of snow covering that pipe insulated it. I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna winterize it yet. What I'm gonna do is take a good look at the weather uh, forecast and see what it says. So as you guys can see, the snow is gone, except for up in the mountains there. The temperature did warm up and we got a lot of rain, but backing up a little bit to the spring line, I had to make that crucial decision. I decided to winterize just the underground portion of it, which is very a small portion right up here by the lodge. I should have done the rest of it the same day. I didn't. I thought it's gonna freeze again and then it'll thaw. Well, it froze and it didn't thaw. So. I had to pay the price. It wasn't fun, but I went up, winterized the spring line myself. There was a few sections that had solid ice in it. Thankfully, we got like a half a day of sun. I draped those sections of hose up in the, in the bushes to where the sun could get them better. They thawed out enough to where I could get all the ice out. What is it, Howie? <laughs> My dog's looking at something. We've been hearing uh, some wolves howl probably a half a mile from the lodge here. So could be a ptarmigan, a little bird, could be an ermine, could be some wolves, could be a bear. You never know out here. 
Now I'm just finishing up some more winter projects, preparing for Zach and Alyssa to come home. Excited for that. Excited for the cold weather, but I'm not quite excited for the snow yet. Today, Zach and Alyssa are coming home. They've been gone for about 10 days and they are bringing a big supply load home. This is our freeze up. She's excited now. Yeah, look at her. Smile. Got it. Hi, Eileen. Are you happy to be home? <laughs> I'll take that as yes. Chloe, how about you? Even more excited. Than what? Then 10,000 million trillion gillion million trillion million 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 drops of snow. Wow. As always, thanks so much for watching. If this video is something that you're into, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And make sure to stay tuned for more from Bramante Brothers. Bramante Brothers. <laughs>